Well, this morning we're catching up with a local nurse practitioner who is on the front lines in New York. And not only does she work in oncology, she's a Navy Lieutenant Commander. Stephanie Daly joins us now to share how her experience is going. First and foremost, thank you very much for your service to our country. And thank you for your service to the sick on this National Nurses Day. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me back on. Um, I worked a shift last night, so I haven't been to bed yet today, but I'm doing okay. I'm hanging in there. You know, with everything going on and, of course, the big story last week of uh, that doctor taking her own life after what she had been through uh, right in the center of the pandemic in New York, uh, how are you mentally? I know this has to be exhausting. Um, yeah, it is, and, and that was really devastating to hear that news, and I can't imagine what um, she experienced or, you know, saw or went through, and my heart goes out to her family. Um, we've been doing a lot of talking here about resiliency and just how to cope with your feelings and emotions, and um, I think everybody knows coming into this that we just have to take really good care of ourselves, um, exercise, rest, uh, do the things that you can for, um, you know, taking care of yourself and each other, making sure we're checking in with each other and, uh, you know, just keeping an eye out and um, making sure we're doing all those things we need to. Now, according to the New York governor, uh, the numbers are starting to stave off. The hospital visits are becoming fewer. What's your day-to-day -day life like there? Yeah, definitely. Um, when when we first got here, it was very busy. Um, the hospital systems were definitely overwhelmed and happy to get um, our relief. Um, things are slowing down, but I think that this is an important time that we take this opportunity not to let our guard down. And, um, you know, we still need to be practicing social distancing. People still need to be wearing masks, um, you know, and just hopefully this slowing down will allow the healthcare system to recover and kind of catch up and recuperate. There has been an outpouring of support from the community, just many people saying thank you. Being in the front lines, are you able to feel that? Do you get any uh, sense of relief from what's being presented? Absolutely, yeah. Um, so every night, I'm sure you've seen videos um, that people post on social media, but every night at 7 o'clock, here you can hear people cheering, honking. Um, there's people out in front of almost all the hospitals with signs saying thank you, um, walking down the street. If people know that you're healthcare or even associated with the military, they thank you. Um, so everyone's very grateful, um, just an outpouring of support. Um, there's been multiple donations at the hospital with water, food, snacks, and it's all very much appreciated, that's for sure. I saw um, it's, it. I, and it's those little things that really get you through. I, I saw a doctor post and uh, posted a video, and he was thanking everybody uh, for all their support and all the food and said, no more pizza. We need some healthier <laughs> foods. <laughs> and, uh, are, are you experiencing that? <laughs> yeah, I would agree. Yeah, I think we're pizzaed out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you take care. You be safe. And again, I cannot thank you enough for, for what you're doing there and your dedication. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you having me on and just keep thinking of everybody out there on the front lines. Absolutely. Prayers continue. Thank you.